Go Easy's top 25 crypto. And it's been a big surprise today. Um, a coin broke into the top three and passed Binance earlier. Um, I have another show I posted uh, while that was happening. It went down. Um, and this coin is called Rapids. It's a uh, it's a great uh, wow. It went up I think ninety two thousand percent. We'll see about that. But people are selling it, so we'll see. Okay, today it's up. Whoa. Well, it's going, it's going fast, 140,000%. So, as you can see, look at that today. Got the seven day. So, if you have rapids, oh, you are making, you made a lot of money, but I bet it's hard <laughs> to exchange that right now. And, uh, rapid. Rapids Network describes itself as a community-oriented and decentralized blockchain that is focused on integrating widgets into mainstream social media platforms to facilitate sending and receiving cryptocurrencies among friends, family, colleagues, B2C, B2B, and B2B e-commerce. Let's see what B what's B2B. Business to business. Oh, okay. So that's for uh, business to business. Sounds pretty good. All right, we'll keep an eye on Rapids. So uh, I bet that one's trending today. All right, and now let's check out uh, cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin, about the same. ETH up 3,000, uh, ETH price for today 3,000. 787 up 8%. ETH has been on a tear. Up 39% today. All right. And we got um, Dogecoin up 1%. Okay. Cardano up to 169. Market cap of 53 billion. We got Polkadot still over 40. $40 up. Wow, Bitcoin Cash is up. Market cap of $26 billion. And Litecoin right behind that. And Ethereum's up to number 13. Ethereum Classic up 282% for the week. And we're going to see, um, we'll be checking on a snapshot and seeing uh, Ethereum was number 16 yesterday. Now we get to see, well, all right, and then we got Stellar, we got Theta up 12%, and uh, oh, we got Monero up again, took another spot up 20% for the day, and Neo, EOS having another good day, up 67% six, for the week, 16% for the day, and let's check our latest stories in our crypto so as for bitcoin bears aim for sub 60k bitcoin price ahead of friday's 1.1 billion options expiry so um 1.1 billion options uh are are expiring today and a lot of people have been shorting uh bitcoin so uh you can go to Cointelegraph if you want to read this story. But the main thing I wanted to uh, tell you guys is, therefore, uh, the bottom is bears have incentives to suppress the price below 60000 at least until 8 a.m. UTC on Friday, May 7th. So, it's a good day probably for Bitcoin to go up. So if you are, you should grab some uh, Bitcoin before it gets above 60,000 and get prepared. This could be the this could be the day or the time where Bitcoin gets ready to uh, take off. Okay. And let's talk about Cardano, which is my favorite coin right now. And 
comment it says Cardano breaks out versus Bitcoin as ADA price discovers near two dollars. The current alt season has produced serious returns but remains subdued when viewed in BT search Bitcoin terms. Cardano, the native token of the smart contract platform of the same name, has joined the altcoins hitting new all time highs this week. Cardano underscores alt season 2.0 appetite. Data from Cointelegraph Markets Pro and TradingView show ADA USD hitting over $1.70 for the first time on May 7th today. In a move which an increasing number of large cap altcoins are seeking to copy, Cardano gained impressively over the past few days, going from below $1.30 to the high as sell walls disappeared. Now analysts are eyeing short term targets of $5 as Bitcoin continues to range, giving fuel to an already lively altcoin scene. The thing I don't like on ADA right now, there are lots of volume and now there's not, popular trader Scott Melker said in a note of caution during the market overview earlier this week, because ADA is a staking coin and it's a, uh, one of the best staking coins and it has uh, the most coins, uh, most value at stake of any coin. He added that ADA USD chart nonetheless still looks fine, but that pair was currently better suited to investors rather than the short term traders. Against BTC, Bitcoin, ADA remains far below its all time high, a trade common to many altcoins despite their USD performance. ADA Bitcoin reached point that number Bitcoin in January 2008 and currently resides at that many Bitcoin. <laughs> so, what's a bull run? As Coin Telegraph reported, altcoin price action remains led by freak moves on tokens that have seen few or no events from the technical adapt adaptation perspective. First, Dogecoin and then Ethereum Classic became standouts. The latter seeing all-time high of its own on Friday, and Dodge cooled from its recent run. Famous cryptocurrency names have even taken the mainstream platforms to draw consumers' attention to fundamental differences between Bitcoin and altcoins. In terms of Dogecoin, there is no different than GameStop, where GameStop is a real company but became a bit of a meme with a certain contingent of the retail trading audience. Ryan Selkies, founder of analytics platform Mesery. Sorry if I messed the name up, told CNBC on Thursday. Bitcoin's dominance of the overall cryptocurrency market cap, meanwhile, continues to decline, hitting a one-year lows below 45%. Yep, Bitcoin dominance is down big time. Yeah, so Bitcoin dominance right now is 44.2%, but ETH dominance has grown. It is now 17.9%. So, oh, ETH is went down a little bit, and Binance has come has been up too. So it's been a good, good week, and we'll do a, a snapshot and see where uh, everything was. Okay, now for more news, let's see for more news what we got. Oh yeah, and uh, this is the biggest story that I've seen. Actual Cardano, uh, Cardano's actually being used for real life use to help uh, people with things that they really need help with. Ethiopia, Ethiopia deploys Cardano's blockchain to track student performance. Cardano has confirmed its partnership with the Ethiopian government to use the platform's blockchain and streamlining streamlining the country's education system management. According to Cardano's parent company, IOHK, the deal targets about 5 million secondary school students and 700,000 teachers. The program is powered by the decentralized identity solution dubbed Atala Prism. 
IOHK's Italoprism ID will help authorities set up a tamper-proof record of students' educational performance and single out areas and causes of educational underachievement. The system will also offer students blockchain verified digital qualifications that seek to lower fraudulent university entry and job applica applications. Furthermore, employers will be able to verify all student grades without relying on third parties. So that gives students a lot more incentive to, uh, and a lot more motivation to do good because there's a lot of people who, um, now it's very big for people to fake, uh, to fake, uh, degrees and so they can get jobs. You could become, uh, anything you would like. So here's a quote. This initiative is about bringing technology to improve the quality of education. It's very practical to think of blockchain technology as a way to improve the quality of education, said Ethiopia's Minister of Education. The, the first year of onboarding will entail an addition, addition of all teachers in the three three 3,500 schools. In the second year, the project will bring on board all the five million secondary school students. Wow. Plan to include uh, the entire education system. That's good, big goals, because Ethiopia has 110 million people, I think. We'll see. Hey, Siri. Hmm? What's the population of Ethiopia? In 2017, the population of Ethiopia was 104,957,438. Okay, well, I'm sure that's, uh, I'm pretty sure it's uh, 110 million people. So, and it's the second largest, uh, most uh, populated country in Africa. So, in addition, so, um, IOHK notes that the end goal is to encompass the entire schooling system in the project. The goal is teachers and secondary stu school students, but the probability that this will encompass the entire school system from kindergarten to universities is a very high likelihood. And this will bring even more people into the Cardano system, said David or IOHK. I mean, that's a lot better. I mean, you don't have to like everyone can access people's records you don't have to wait for the school or call or get the records and sometimes it's hard to communicate uh and sometimes they don't have uh as much technology and uh ability of record keeping so i mean some students could study for years and lose the records or someone else could just fake uh fake what they have so additionally, in supporting the initiative, the Ethiopian government is issuing all teachers and pupils with tablets alongside a dedicated internet network. Over the recent months, IOHK has been hitting at a deal with the Ethiopian government, but cited bureaucracy for their delays. Initially, there were reports the partnership will will potentially power the Ethiopian National Citizen Identification System. The latest development comes barely a month after Cardano announces it had re achieved 100% decentralization for block production. Besides Ethiopia, IOHK is also working with mobile blockchain firm worldwide to connect remote villages in Tanzania with the internet. So, great. Shout out to Charles Hoskinson. He's doing a lot of things. There are people that uh, talk bad about him, but he does a lot of good things that you can actually see. And uh, one day I might do a story on uh, the owners of the different crypto coins. like Because uh, a lot of them used to be together. Like Charles Hock Hoskinson was with um, Dan Larimer, and he's the one who uh, is the head of EOS, and they were together with... Um, Valetech Buterin, who owns Ethereum, and um, the other guy who owns uh, Polkadot, I forgot his name, I know it, but he was with them too, so uh, they all were together, it was a lot of people uh, on the Ethereum, like some all-stars, so uh, let's check, see if there are any more stores, oh yeah, and Rapids, oh we already checked Rapids price, let's see what it is, it's 
of uh, 189,000% for today. So, lucky for you all. Let's see. One day. Wow. That's a lot. So, price change 24 hours. 24 hour low. Oh my. Wow. Big, big, big. Rapids, rapids, rapids. That's good. So, uh, that's all. I don't want to keep you guys too long. I don't know. I'm trying to make some videos short, some videos long. Let's see. And uh, thank you. Just keep following me. Thank you all. I'll keep you all updated on everything. And we can all, we'll start seeing where coins were on the days before. Thank you.